What's up guys, it's me, the Don Fanatic, and welcome to my Pokemon X Unlock Challenge. This is a series highly influenced by Tito Station, um, or Tito's as he's more affectionately known. Um, links to his channel will be in the description. Basically, just as a quick um, bit of information, I am post-narrating this video because I did it all, um, uploaded it to YouTube, then people tweeted me saying actually your sound's out. So I went back over it and realized that actually my sound recording cut out like a, a minute for no reason. So I can't really leave um, that sound clip in the video. It just makes no sense. You miss out some of the important information. So I decided to re-record it again uh, post-narration. Uh, in the meanwhile, all you'll see in the game is me literally picking my male character and uh, introducing myself to the other protagonists, or not protagonists, your friends of the protagonist, Serena, Shauna, uh, what, what are they called? I can't remember what they're called. Trevor and Tiano. I think that's their names. Um, so basically, that's all you'll see. This episode is titled Choose My Starter. As you will see, um, there is a straw poll in the description of the video, which I'd like you all to go click right now and choose a starter for me. Um, because this was already uploaded, some people have already voted, and I'm pretty sure Froki is in the lead, or he, at least he definitely was in the lead at the point of me last looking. Um, so basically, you might be asking, what is an unlock? Well, a Pokemon unlock is eh, a twist on your general Nuzlocke rules. Basically, what happens is, you play by the normal Nuzlocke rules of, for example, Pokemon faints, it's considered dead, and it is then rendered unusable. Um, you must nickname every Pokemon you obtain. Uh, you can only catch the first Pokemon of each route you enter. If the Pokemon faints, you cannot catch anything else in that route. Um, there are additional rules you can play, such as no healing, um, no rare candies, no, no, no anything stupid, not stupid, no anything like that. So, what makes an unlock different from a Nuzlocke? Well, each gym badge contributes towards you unlocking a new feature in the game. So you basically apply restrictions onto yourself, but the further you manage to get through the game, the less restrictions there are, the easier it makes it for you. It's like a reward system, basically. So, as you can know, there are eight badges in the Pokemon games. Um, so there are eight things you unlock as you progress through the game. So. For example, I'll go over all of these, but for example, after you defeat the first gym, you obtain the ability to ele uh, let your Pokemon evolve. So basically, whatever starter I have isn't allowed to evolve until after the first gym badge has been obtained. Um, which obviously makes the first gym pretty hard because the trainer has a Vivion, um, so it should be interesting. The second gym badge enables you to use healing items during battle. You're allowed to use items out of battle, but obviously during not being allowed to use them in battle adds for a lot of um, difficulty, especially in sticky situations against gym leaders. Uh, the third unlock, or the third gym badge you obtain, unlocks the use of technical machines, or TMs as people know them. Um, pretty sure there aren't any, like, you don't need to use HMs to get through this game. HMs don't apply, obviously, because some games you do need to use HMs to go through. Um, 
the fourth gym badge unlocks the last three slots of your party. So in an unlock, you're only allowed to use slots one to three initially until you have the fourth badge. From then onwards, you're allowed to have a full team. From the fifth gym badge, you unlock the ability to use non-damaging moves such as Protect, Swords Dance, Nasty Plot, then sorts of moves. Unlocking the sixth gym badge, uh, sorry, obtaining the sixth gym, sixth gym badge, you obtain or the ability to have Pokemon of the same typing in your party. So for example, what's most likely to happen is you catch a Bunnelby in the first route and then you catch a Fletchling in the second route for example you can only keep one in your party however I believe when Fletchling evolves it turns into a fire flying type which then means I would be allowed Bunnelby on my team as long as I only have three team members so I can catch Pokemon when I have three team members but they have to be boxed they can't be used unless I trade them for the, another Pokemon in my party at the time but you must remember I can't use Pokemon of the same typing um Gym badge number 7 unlocks the, the ability for you to grind above the level higher than the next gym leader. But at this point there's only one gym leader left. There's also the Elite 4. It doesn't mention anything about the Elite 4. Um, so I don't think I'd want to level too much higher anyway because it just makes it too easy. Obtaining the 8th gym badge allows you to revive a fallen Pokemon. That is such a cool idea. Hopefully we don't get to the stage where we lose many Pokemon, if at all any, uh, through this playthrough. Um, I highly doubt that will happen, but it would be nice if it did. Um, so there are the eight main rules of the unlock, which you will find in the description below. As I said already, this is influenced from Titos's Emerald Unlock. Um, make sure you go watch that. He probably explains the rules a lot better than me. I did ask him if it was okay for me to do this. He was completely fine. Turns out he actually just says that in his videos anyway. Feel free to use this format. It was actually created by one of his subscribers, but I unfortunately do not remember the name for that person. Um, so, sorry I can't dedicate it to him. But anyway, uh, two other things, I guess. The first thing is, what would you guys want to see maybe altered or changed about the rules? Because obviously this is an unlock. These are the unlock rules. But for example, when I previously uploaded the video, someone said um, you're not allowed to use... Uh, there was something you can't use it until you face the champions. Basically, I think there might have been an extra step in the unlock. Um, like you're not allowed to heal your Pokemon during the Elite Four. Something like that. Would you like to see an additional rule added anywhere? Uh, maybe there's a milestone. Like maybe when you, until you obtain Mega Revolution. I don't know. That, that could be a milestone in this game. So if there's anything cool you could think of like that, make sure you leave me a comment below, let me know. And what was the other thing I said? Oh yes, what I uh, saw Tito's doing was, for each time he broke a rule, there was a forfeit. So for example, I think he done something where a Pokemon used a move that wasn't attacking, for example. Um, or an offensive move, something like Growl. Um, he then had to go the whole of the next episode without healing his Pokemon. Uh, in the Pokemon Center, that is. He had to use potions and stuff, which obviously drains money. It's a penalty. So, if you can come up with any penalty ideas, make sure you leave a comment. Um, and keep your eyes open for me breaking rules. I won't do it intentionally, because obviously that's just not fun. Um, but, obviously I want you guys to interact with this series as much as you can. As you can see though, we are at the stage where we are let, uh, where I'm choosing my starter. It's Fennekin, Chespin or Froakie. As I've already said, the straw poll link is in the description below. Make sure you click on that and you do answer um, as to what starter you want me to use. If you don't want me to use Froakie, you better get voting because Froakie is clear favourite at the moment. Um, Chespin behind, Fennekin last. I don't know why, I really like Fennekin. Chespin's my least favourite but I do like all of them. So. Sorry if I offended any of you. Anyway, I'm going to end the little bit of post narration off here. Thank you for watching this video, guys. Make sure you do leave a like if you enjoy the concept and the idea of this series. Make sure you pick my starter for me. Make sure you click like. I know YouTube's kind of broken with that at the moment. But hey, if there's a chance of it getting out there and spreading the unlock, then I'm more than happy for you to click it. Otherwise, guys, I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.